Oh. Hello, my name is Paulo. I come from São Paulo, but I work at the University, a Federal University of Alagoas. And I, well, I'm going to read uh, a statement I made during our meetings in the uh, uh, Brazil Canada Knowledge Exchange. Uh, it's based on our discussions and my reflections on those, uh, on those discussions. So I start my statement with a topic that I got from one of the texts we've been reading. That is, a negação da diversidade é inerente ao colonialismo. This, in English, it is. The denial of diversity is inherent to colonialism. And I'm going to start. In a state of Brazil, historically subjected to different forms of oppression, such as slavery in the 19th century, political favoritism in the 20th century, and more recently, lack of opportunities due to low levels of human development, Alagoas, from my point of view, suffers from what I call self-exclusion, which means that there is a general sense of not willing to belong there, so the idea of escaping from Alagoas is widely accepted. In other words, if you want to succeed in life, you have to leave the state, because the ones who stay there are both those who control political or economical institutions, and consequently uh, are very well off and don't need to leave, or those who have no intellectual or economic conditions to do something different. The si that situation directly reflects upon the way education goes. If you're rich, and rich in Alagoas means living a little above poverty level, since 65% of the population live on Bolsa Familia, you go to a private school with better teachers. If you're poor, and that means living in Brazilian minimum wage, which is about $200, you go to a public school and then you have to face all the problems connected with those cho uh, to, go to, that, to this choice. First of all, there is a lack of interest from the part of local governments in promoting any improvements in education institutions. Talking about the structural situation of schools, for example, there is, a, there is very little maintenance in them, so in most cases they fall into pieces. What happens then is that Secretaria de Educação closes the schools down for lack of conditions and builds other ones. Uh, sometimes this is connected to selling the land where those original schools were built years ago and which had no value in the past to private builders for the construction of condos in places economically developed in the city or in the state. This is what I call, I usually call, culture of the new, emphasized by, the, by representatives of governmental institutions, uh, of gov gov governmental institutions there, and repeated by the population. I have some reports from teachers and students about how happy they are because they are going to be removed or relocated to a newly built school as their own was in bad conditions. Alagoas entered a max program for the restoration of public schools. Restorations started last year, but in many schools, sorry, but in many schools, there are st uh, uh, until today, are still in the process of being restored with classes suspended until now. Government offered relocation of students and teachers, mainly in the schools built by the seashore. The ones which have been emptied are being sold to private investors, as, as they say, there is no reason to maintain those schools as they are empty. Specifically speaking about the situation of public English teachers, according to their own reports, they have never participated in any training or qualification programs since they left university. Casa da Cultura, which is an extension of Curso de Letras at Universidade Federal de Alagoas, offers foreign language courses to the community. 
This Kazut Kultura made an agreement with a city government and offered 30 openings for public English teachers to take English courses there. On taking the entrance test, most, most of the teachers got basic one and two levels. After one month they had started the course, most of them gave it up. And in their reports, teachers claimed that the pace of the course was too fast for them and besides, they did not agree with the methodology as they were expecting to learn grammar and translation but no conversation. Santo says that the objectivation of the colonized is the root of a series of dichotomies. In the case of Alagoas, those dichotomies may be translated as being rich or poor, being intellectually able or not, staying the state, of, staying the state or fleeing it. My research goes in the direction of this de-objectivation -object or denaturalization of what seems natural and given in terms of cultural, social and economic aspects affecting teachers' work. This reminds me of the word negotiation as suggested yesterday in our discussions and I kept thinking of its etymology. This Latin word is a compound between neck, which means negation, and ocean, which means the possibility of contemplation, which reflects the pragmatism of the Romans in relation to the Greek philosophical tradition. On updating the meaning of this word, negotiation means building something together by means of a dialogue, and economically speaking, this is only possible if both parties have something to offer. As Santos says, constructing by interacting materials. In the case of the reality I am talking about, one party believes there is nothing to offer in exchange. My research that, focus on fo that focuses on foreign language teacher education is settled, I believe, one step behind the idea of negotiation. It views the possibility of letting what is believed as the weaker party in this, in the story, speak first. That is, it is based on the possibility of listening carefully to the otherness. And only after this hearing process, we start acting upon the recovery of teachers' self-respect as a motivation for building on their own competencies. Another point in this, in this process is demystifying the idea that the world out there is organized homogeneous and full of outstanding opportunities, as it is shown in, e in English textbooks, for example. This is done by following what Mohan says about complexity, mentioned by Santos too. That is, the homogeneity is an idealization impossible to reach, and that means that putting parts together will never make up a whole. What I want to say is that my research goes step by step on a very small recovery basis first. Only then does negotiation start. Thank you.